Hi, friends. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you, huh? I am packing my stuff. Getting ready to go to San Antonio tomorrow. I just got home last night from Midland, and I'll be in San Antonio from... My lips are so dry. From Saturday... No, from tomorrow to Sunday, probably. Me and Chris are gone, so if you're in San Antonio, come see me. I'll be at the... Freeman Coliseum, the event's called Christmas Showcase, and my booth number is 1228. So if you walk in the front door, go all the way to the very back wall, past like the area called the finer things, like right in that area, you'll see my booth. I'm trying to get these Starburst things. Look, these are new pieces. Are they so pretty? This is like a bigger version of the Aaron. It looks so good in this lot too. And then I ain't got any of these left to sell. Literally, I have two six millimeter and like one five millimeter, and the rest of them are gone. Um, I think I'm gonna have a big shipment come in on Friday, so hopefully, you can have my friends. Help. Sorry, cut me off. Hopefully, you can have my friends help me out this weekend to get some of those packages that I'm gonna prep them all and have them ready to go. I don't know what took so long. So annoyed. They they said that originally the delay was because they were. Oh, I can't tell you what's in the items. So they were putting everything in like its own gift box, each piece, and that was causing it to be too big of a shipment. But I'm like, we figured that out like weeks ago. Like, okay. Anyways, so I'll be in San Antonio this weekend. I'll be home on Sunday. Um, and any orders that come over the weekend, I'll pack those and ship them on Monday. I should, even if I come home on Monday, I should still have time. I have just been exhausted. Like I woke up today, my whole body was hurting like everywhere. Arches in my feet, my butt, my freaking calves, like everything. I'm so tired. Just loading up. And I'll try to post the pictures from the shows. I just forget because I get so busy. Anyways, just wanted to say hi. Sorry, I'm not that entertaining today. Okay, last thing. I've gotten to read some of your responses about my abortion questions. And I'm actually really thankful. Number one, some people messaged me back and they like gave me the answers I was looking for. I think the area that I'm like most lax in as far as being a Republican is probably like, I think if you're a boy and you want to marry a boy, that's your business. And I think if you're a girl, same thing, obviously. But I don't think boys should be in girl sports. I don't think kids should be drinking out of cat bowls. Uh, what else? I don't know why the government is involved with what happens in our vagina. That's so weird. And to be so involved, but then not provide birth control. Like, it seems like, I don't know. That's the the area, though, that I'm like... Not super, super Republican. I mean, I am a Republican, very fiscally Republican for sure. But some of that stuff, I'm just like, how is it anybody's business? No, I definitely think there should be a limit too. But also, why isn't the government telling us that they'll give us free birth control if they're telling us what to do with our vaginas? Like, I don't understand that. So here's the other thing, and I don't know the rules, so educate me because I genuinely don't know because it doesn't affect me. But tell me. So if you are like far along in your pregnancy and they're like it's you or the baby one of y'all is gonna die does the mom get in trouble if she aborts the baby because then i feel like it should be allowed like i don't know there's got to be some it can't be both you know like she get, this is a human that's already here we're gonna t i don't know i don't know if that's the rules i hope that's not for but i feel like it it, it might be i don't know so please correct me i'm i welcome it but if that is the case to me that's like makes absolutely zero sense but really at the end of the day if the government isn't going to provide us birth control for free then why are they telling us i don't know and why can't we just change those people who are like oh it'll take forever for the medical coding to get changed why do we put a fucking man on the moon why can't we change what coding is in a in a medical billing i don't understand that so i don't know anyways those are just my thoughts